entities, and they told him that they were preparing for an intergalactic war with God, and that they were going to win. What happened was, they opened up this portal, they created a rift, and entities began to come through, not just this war of Babylon being burst, but other entities. The federal government at the highest levels have known these are not space aliens, but these are entities coming from another dimension. Are going to be giving different types of experiences to people. This is what people have to understand. The experiences have to be tested with scripture. Mm -hmm. Because other, otherwise, we're going to accept them because they're supernatural experiences, whether it's a supernatural healing, whether it's some type of a prophetic event where they speak a word of knowledge or they know something about your, your history, whatever it may be. The aliens could have a cure for cancer. Now, the aliens. These higher entities are coming from a, a different place than us. They're not earthborn. Uh, the only ones that could be earthborn would be the demons, which came through the line of the Nephilim. And obviously that's a little bit of a different scenario. It ties in together. But with higher entities, we're dealing with, there is a group that we, we tracked in this film called the Collins Elite. And the idea was trying to answer the question, were there events in history where the American government was working with entities? That was kind of the beginning of this research. And if so, what happened? Can we, can we validate this? You know, what came of that? But also, were there factions in the government who stood up against these things? That was the premise of this film. And uh, we started off by talking about a group known as the Collins Elite. Now, let's just go back in time. There was an event that took place back in the late 40s known as the Babylon Working Ritual. Now, this was a ritual that was carried out by Jack Parsons, uh, JPL. You know, people will even to this day say that JPL stands for, for Jack Parsons Laboratories, but on paper, it's Jet Propulsion Laboratories. JPL is major. It's a historic, I mean, so much surrounding this, so much history here. Uh, Jack Parsons was not professionally trained, yet he was tapping into high technology and building rockets. How do you do that without any type of formal training? There were no rocket programs in America before Jack Parsons. This is paramount to understand. This guy was tapping into you know, theosophy, Thelema, Thelema, the, the religion of Aleister Crowley. Uh, he was a disciple of Aleister Crowley, and he was working with uh, L. Ron Hubbard, who was the founder of Scientology. Interestingly, not only did L. Ron Hubbard uh, start Scientology, but he was a science fiction writer. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie Battlefield Earth with John Travolta, well, that was written by L. Ron Hubbard. Interestingly also, John Travolta is a Scientologist, right? Now, I mention this because this is a man who writes science fiction, yet he started a religion based on science fiction. There has to be something in there where he's getting these clues and these, these ideas. He's getting these from another realm. From that point, you know, they ripped a, a hole open into space-time. And from that point afterwards, you had, um, well, regardless of what Parsons actually successfully uh, completed during that with the whole Babylon and different things, after that, you had the Roswell incident, you had the Kenneth Arnold uh, sightings, you had in 53, there was uh, the swarm of UFOs that flew over the White House. Um, and so there's this, this uh, unleashing of supernatural activity that took place after that ritual was performed. Babylon working was successful according to Jack Parsons. Uh, matter of fact, Parsons said in his Antichrist Manifesto that they were successful and that a child, a child was conceived in that act and that there was a spirit known as Hilarion. The whore of Babylon was what they were trying to bring about. They believed what we believe and that America was the final Babylon. Like this was the revived Babylon. They believed it, and they were occultists. You know, we're Christians, and we believe it. There's evidence to back this up. But yes, uh, let, let's backtrack just for a second. What happened was they opened up this portal. They created a rift, and entities began to come through. Not just this horror of Babylon being birthed, but other entities, because people all over the place started having paranormal encounters, and they began to report this to law enforcement, report this to the, to the FBI, report this to whatever agency they could get in touch with, and so the federal agencies said, we've got to come up with an answer for this. You know, we were not prepared for any of this. There's UFO activity. There's, there's talk of entities and demons and winged creatures and just all kinds of weird, I mean, just paranormal demonic activity following this ritual that Jack Parsons said finally worked. Wow. They did the ritual for a couple of years. It finally worked, finally stuck. And that's what a scientist does. A scientist...